now that we have the idea of conjugates down, we can, in this video, continue on to the operation of dividing with imaginary numbers. And that deals with the concept of simplifying by rationalizing the denominator. So let's take this idea, um, take this phrase, rationalizing the denominator, let's break it down. Inside rationalizing, you see the word rational. And irrational numbers are a type of real number. And by so when we deal with imaginary, this is with imaginary numbers, with complex numbers, what's happening is you are going to rationalize, you are going to make the denominator real. And the way you do that is you multiply by, in a way, the conjugate, but I like to say, and I like to refer to it as you multiply because you're simplifying. And so you can't change the value. And so the only number you can multiply by to not change a value is the number one. So what you do is you multiply by a clever form of the number one. And what you use to do this is you use the conjugate. So we're just going to jump right into an example to kind of assist us with this. And so in this video, we'll cover two examples, and then we'll look at two more in the next one. So I can't leave an imaginary number in the denominator. We need to rationalize it. We need to make it real. And so what we do is we need to multiply. We know that if you multiply a complex number by its conjugate, so the conjugate would be 5 plus 3i, it becomes real. And that's the key. Then it becomes rational. But you can't just multiply one part of it because then you're changing the value and you're simplifying. So what you do is you multiply both the top and the bottom by the conjugate. And what that allows us to do is technically any number by itself is 1. We're technically not changing the value, but we're simplifying the expression. We're manipulating it. So what I like to do is I like to put my binomials in parentheses. And that assists me with how to simplify from here. You would distribute on the top 6i to 5 and 6i to 3i. And that gives you 30i plus 18i squared. And then, you know, I can simplify the bottom. Now, this is a complex number multiplied by its conjugate. You, could, you can FOIL. You can distribute. But you can also remember what happens. You know, if I have 5 times 5, it's 25. And what happens is you're going to get a positive 15i. The middle terms are going to cancel. You're going to get a negative 15i and a negative 9i squared. And so the middle terms cancel. i squared is negative 1, so really you're left with 25 minus 9 times negative 1, which is a plus 9. It's really the number 34. And so now what we need to do is we need to simplify the top. 18i squared, i squared is negative 1. So really you have 30i minus 18 over 34. Remember that you have to put this in your complex form of your real number first, negative 18, and then your imaginary number. Now we're not quite done. If you were to look at all the terms, negative 18, 30, 34, they're all even. They're all divisible by 2. So I can take a 2 out. You know, I get negative 9 plus 15i over 17. And that is your final answer. So multiplying by a conjugate of the complex conjugate, you're always going to get a real number. That's the whole point. You're rationalizing the denominator. All the i's are going to cancel. Con multiplying by the conjugate is going to make it real. You can't have an imaginary in the denominator. So that's the fun part about it. It makes it real. And then you just distribute like we did in the top. Combine like terms and simplify with the exponents. So let's look at one more. 3 plus, sorry, 3 over 4 plus 2i. I got an imaginary number in the bottom. Can't have that. So I'm going to multiply by the conjugate, which would be 4 minus 2i, the top and the bottom, by 4 minus 2i. 
you know, put your parentheses there so you know to distribute. Now, distributing the top, that's not bad. You know, you're going to get 3 times 4 and 3 times negative 2i, so you get 12 minus 6i. You know, distributing the bottom, you, you need to show all the work and show all the work. But you have to remember the middle terms are going to cancel. So all you care about are the outside terms. You know, 4 times 4 is 16. 2i times negative 2i is negative 4i squared. The middle terms will cancel. So you just care about the outside ones. And so you have 16 minus 4i squared. 16 minus 4 times negative 1 is 16 plus 4, 20. You know you're right or you know you're on the right track because there's no more imaginary number. It's all real. But again, we have here a number that looks like, you know, 12, negative 6, 20. They're all even. So I can take a 2 out from all of these. So I get 6 minus 3i over 10. So I showed you the shortcut here. When you are multiplying a complex number by its conjugate, you just worry about, the first term and the last term. The, the middle ones are going to cancel. So just do, you know, 4 times 4, 16, 2i times negative 2i, negative 4i squared. The 8i and the negative 8i would cancel. So there's no reason to account for them. And then you deal with just the real numbers, combine and simplify. And if you have a common factor in the top, both terms in the top and the bottom, just simplify it out.